over a decade. I started as a volunteer in 2009 and uh, came on to the education team in 2010. My very first shift at the AGA was the day we opened uh, the new building. And, uh, and I worked as an educator for two years and then following that, I kind of made my way into management and I've been head of education and learning ever since. I guess in the, in the next few years, what I would like to see is our, an increased capacity in our language programming. So this is something that we have been talking about for a long time, but I would really like to push that forward in the next little while. Um, community engagement and community outreach is really important for the AGA. It's something that's in our strategic plan and it's something that um, I hold dear to my heart in terms of where I see museums having relevancy. And I think it's really important for us to um, really engage with our community in a, in a deep way. With the um, support of donors, we've been able to do some pretty incredible things. We've been able to implement a youth council. We've been able to offer um, teen nights for, for youth. We've been able to um, offer free programming for families. Um, we've been able to do all sorts, a, a myriad of, of, of opportunities. And I think without that support, we just can't do what we do. Um, so having, having sort of that support taken care of allows us to do the work that we are driven and passionate about and, and need to do in order to ensure that um, kids have a really great um, experience here. Well, I overheard in the gallery, uh, someone mentioned that, um, that they were so grateful for the art classes, not only as a space for their kids to go, like I think the, the, this was in reference to an art camp, um, but just how nice it was to be able to drop off their kids and know that, you know, that they were being creative and that they were in a safe environment. Um, and we're, we're also really impressed by the kind of work that their children could generate. Um, we are really focused on um, building skills in the process of making art, but it really, we really put the onus on the kids to create what they want to create. So we're not predetermining what their project looks like per se, we're just giving them the skills to execute on it. Okay, who should take art classes? Everybody. Everybody is an artist and everyone can unlock their creativity. And I think art classes and the art activities that we support um, through our programming give people an opportunity to practice their creativity and to, um, you know, appreciate their creativity. I think, you know, when you're, when you're, at some point when you're a kid, like, you're really creative and you're not very self-conscious about it, but at some point we get self-conscious about our creativity um, and taking an art class can, can shake you up out of that and help you to get back to that really beautiful moment 